One of the most popular things to do now to customize your Nintendo Switch is to take the Joy-Con and change the shell, right? Instead of the gray shell, you can buy yellow or, or blue or green shells, for example, that you see on different sites, or a lot of people like to take them apart and spray paint them to customize them how they want. We even see those really cool like GameCube style ones, very neat. But the one thing that's kind of really a letdown to a lot of people who spend that much time customizing it is when you put it on the Switch, it still shows up as a gray Joy-Con, right? I mean, that can be kind of frustrating considering other ones that you can buy, such as the yellow Joy-Cons, show up as yellow when you plug it in on the Switch. Well, what's really cool is a program has been released by some very talented people that will actually let you write different colors to the Joy-Cons firmware, and it will show up as that color scheme for the body and the buttons to how you want it to be on the Switch. So what I'm gonna do today is show you how you can do that right now to your own Joy-Cons. Even if you don't have them painted, maybe you want them to show up as different uh, color schemes on the Switch when you plug them in, or maybe you have done a, a paint job on this and you want it to match. Very easy to do, does not take long at all. The only thing you're going to need is a computer that is able to pair up to your Joy-Cons, which means your computer has to have Bluetooth in some way, whether it's built in like this laptop, or if you have one of those uh, USB dongles that gives it Bluetooth for like a desktop or even a laptop. So let's go ahead and jump over to my computer and I'll show you guys how to do that. So what I have done here is I've synced up the Joy-Con. This is the left Joy-Con. I have synced it to my computer. The way you do that is you hold the sync button until it's searching. You go to your computer's Bluetooth settings. You should have it search for a Bluetooth device. It should find your left Joy-Con and then you can simply add it. It'll connect and you're done. After that, you want to open the Joy-Con Toolkit version 1.3. Very cool, very neat tool. I'm going to put that down in the description. As far as I can tell, that tool was created over on GBA Temp by a user of the name of CT Care. I would check that out. I'll leave a link to the entire thread down in the description just in case you have to read into it a little more and see what other people are saying, just in case you get stuck on something, but you shouldn't. It's pretty straightforward as you're about to see. Now, right away, you'll see it sees the Joy-Con that I have. It tells me what the serial number, the Mac address, which I have blurred those out just for obviously security purposes, it tells you the firmware version, which is pretty cool, and then it tells you which controller you're using. In this case, I'm using the left controller. Um, you'll see down below that, there are a few buttons. Backup SPI, that basically backs up the entirety of the Joy-Con. So, I would back it up just to be safe because why not? It, it does take about 10 minutes. So when you click that button, you're going to be waiting about 10 minutes. So be, be ready for that. Uh, that seems to be an, like a bottleneck with the Joy-Con itself, nothing with the program as described by the creator of this program. Now, looking down from there is where it gets really interesting. It has body color and then it has buttons color. So if we go to body color, you'll be, you'll have a, you'll have a selection of colors. Um, and what you can do is you can pick any color you want. Now it's not picking up on OBS, but essentially it's like the color wheel that you see when you open up um, GIMP or anything like that. It's pretty straightforward. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and pick a, a random color that we definitely don't have right now. Let's, uh, let's go with a very bright blue or no, you know what? Let's go with, um, let's go with like a really bright. Let's go with a hot pink. <laughs> you know, this is a color that you wouldn't expect it to show up as. And then let's go with like a really weird um, color for the buttons. Again, one you wouldn't expect to show up. Let's go with like a, like a gray kind of. There we go. And that's just, that's just an example. Like I said, you don't, you don't have to use that color, uh, but it's just, it's something we'll see pop up. The other one, the right one I've already done. So when we plug it into the switch, you'll see which colors those are. But with that, after you do that guys, all you do is click right colors. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to continue? And also make sure that you have backed up your SPI, which again, I recommend doing because it's easy and why not? Um, after that, you say yes. It will then tell you it's been written and that's it. This Joy-Con that looks gray is now apparently pink with gray buttons according to what the Switch sees it as. So you know what? Let's get the Switch. Let's plug these in and see what they come up as. Okay, here we are. So I have both Joy-Cons, the right one and the left one. I'm going to go ahead and sync them up. As you see here, I have not synced them yet. They're all, it's L and R on controller, so I have to hit them uh, differently. So this is the right one, so I'll hit that and it should sync up. Uh, yep, okay, so there's that one, and then here's the left one. Now, when I exit here, the bottom left should show us the colors of the Joy-Cons. So let's uh, let's take a look at... Okay, there we go. Yeah, never mind, there we are. So <laughs> you can see the color scheme on the right one. I went with like a purple and black. On the left one, I did that hot pink and like that grayish white, I guess. But you can see there, each one has its own color scheme. They're both still gray. 
um, but you can do this and change the colors as much as you want to whatever you want, like any combination. So if you're one of those people who enjoy customizing your Joy-Cons or maybe you just want it to show up differently, it's all written to the Joy-Con itself. So you don't have to worry about, like if you take this to someone else's Switch or anything, any Switch, it'll show up just like that. So you can even surprise some people and maybe confuse some people even. Another thing that's kind of cool is if you do change the colors of your Joy-Cons, that kind of animation from the right or left will change along with it depending on the color scheme you pick. So if I click this in, you'll see this will change to, I think this is purple. I think it's kind of a neat little, kind of neat little uh, little touch there that, that that is included with that. Of course, that happens with the other Joy-Cons that you can buy also the correct colors, like the yellow and everything, but there's like hot pink, <laughs> kind of neat. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little look. Very cool program that they came up with over there at GBA Temp. I like it a lot, very neat. And why not? It's free to download, try it out. Just make sure you back up either one of your SPIs before you start working on it, just because, you know, make sure you're backed up. Otherwise, it's easy. Sync it up to a computer and play around with the colors and come up with some wacky designs. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.